Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. So the new event is up on the test server. It's actually open yesterday. Today is gonna to be the official launch of it. So make sure if you are on the test server, you go ahead and you go ahead and do phase one, the registration. If you do not register within about the next three hours, you will be locked out of the event for this term. So make sure if you're on the test server that you go ahead and register for the event. And we're gonna go ahead and just run through this really quick. First 24 hours of the registration phase are reserved for pre-registration. During that time, players belong to a guild may register pre-register for an event. After the pre-register period ends, guild members who pre-register together will be placed in the same expedition. Very, very vital, especially when you have to strategize what's going on with this expedition. It is going to be, it seems like a pretty big part of the game. Players who do not have a guild or do, who do not pre-register during the pre-registration period, but register during the remaining registration phase will be randomly allocated into expeditions. So if you don't have a guild, they're just gonna throw you into a group, which communication lacking usually doesn't turn out very well, especially when you gotta be kind of planning. Players who miss the registration phase will not be able to enter the expedition at the time of the event. That's why I said, if you're playing on the test server or you have accounts on the test server, register now. You have a couple more hours before the registration ends. Um, guilds with fewer than 70 participating members will be matched with other guilds to enter the event. Our guild is on level 8 right now, and we only have 65 slots, so fewer than 70 is quite high. So you are going to be matched with 1, 2, 3, I'm not sure how many guilds go in to equal 70 people. Uh, phase 2, start of the expedition. This will start at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. So Phase 2. Drive out the enemy occupiers for the settlement alongside your allies to expand your territory. So expand your territory by defeating enemy troops, occupying tiles, and gathering tile resources. So one, you and your companions will be scattered randomly on the coastal edge of the map. So we're all standing relatively around the same spot. To occupy a tile, you need to defeat the enemy guards. Not too sure how difficult they're going to be. Once you occupy the tile, you can choose to cultivate it, increasing the rip. Um, resource output or abandon it. So it's going to give you a choice if you want to stay and cultivate it or if you want to go ahead and abandon it. The occupied tiles must be adjacent to the existing territory. If your territory borders your companion's tile, you can share the territory. So that'll be interesting to see. So if you are adjacent, so if you have the similar territory, you can share the tiles. There are different tiers of settlements. The higher the tier, the more challenging the guards and the richer the resources. So very cool. Next step is hero growth. Collect blessing relics, blessed relics. After the expedition, expedition, your heroes will reach level according to PVP ranks. So very, very interesting. It does have a PVP aspect. You can strengthen your heroes using the blessed relic system. So blessed relics are divided into five classes, support mage, so same as the elder tree. Each class has six slots and wearing a blessed relic will upgrade all heroes of that class. So very, very cool. The occupied settlement will continuously produce blessed relics. The higher the settlement's level, the stronger the relics. Blessed relics will be bound to a player after equipping them. When all slots of the blessed relics are full, players can increase the blessing level. So very important, if you're going for a relic, make sure you stick with the relic because you can level up the relic itself. Boss fight is the next part, two types, which are territory bosses and world bosses, which is awesome. I love the idea of the additional bosses. Territory bosses, after defeating this boss, you and the companions can move to an area where higher TO sediments are located. So I'm not sure if that's going to be together or if it's going to be individually, but taking out a boss. Second one is the world boss. Defeating this boss will grant you tiles and generous rewards. Uh, use the link for contents of the rewards. Damage dealt to the boss is collective. You can defeat a final boss with the help from your team. Claiming your rewards, no matter the outcome, all shall be remembered. The great feats of the brave heroes undertake here will be forever recorded in the annuals of history. So very, very cool event. If you haven't checked it out, it is on the Facebook page right now. So I actually want to go up here and click this link. I think this will probably take us to... Yep, the rewards. So here are the rewards. Um, as you can see, there are a couple tiers here. The Knight, the Lord, the Vice Count, Earl, Marquis, Duke, and I believe the King? Can't see the bottom. The Prince is the last one. So definitely check it out on the AFK Arena page. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you do not have, 
If you are not registered for it, go register for it now because it is going to be vital to the progression of your guild and exactly how far you're going to be able to push here with strategizing the tiles you're taking. So let me know in the comments what you think. Super excited to see the new event. It starts in about three hours, so make sure you register. And as always, thank you guys for watching.